Hi there, looters. It's September 4th. I'm Mandy, and this is an exceptional episode of Looter News. The X-Files is coming back in January. And to celebrate, Threadless and Loot Crate have teamed up for a t-shirt design challenge. Mulder and Scully sifted through clues to find the truth about things like alien abductions, weird goo, and men who smoke too much. Likewise, Threadless and Loot Crate are teaming up to find truly great t-shirt designs featuring things like alien abductions, weird goo, and men who smoke too much. The grand prize, the winner's design, will be put into January's Loot Crate, plus they'll get $8,000 in a one-year subscription to Loot Crate. Two runners-up will get a three-month subscription to Loot Crate. And any designs chosen to be printed by Threadless.com will get up to $7 for each shirt sold. This is almost too exciting! A few details, the t-shirt will be black, so design accordingly, don't steal anyone else's work, don't use any actor likenesses, and no mashups. Challenge ends September 13th. Hurry! Go to threadless.com slash loot crate to learn more, read the legal stuff, and submit your design. We want to believe that the t-shirt is out there. In more How Is This Even Real news, there's a new Indiegogo campaign for a full contact weapon fighting sport in which combatants dress like space ninjas. Everything about this is incredible! The campaign is called Unified Weapons Masters, and basically, an Australian company is trying to make modern-day gladiatorial fighting a real thing without the hassle of losing limbs or being disabled some battle door or whatever. Fighters suit up in Lorica armor, which gives them a full range of movement and is packed with biometric sensors. These sensors register every hit as the fighters go at it with swords, psi, axes, and whatever other crazy things they can come up with in front of a live audience. The data is sent to a computer in real time, which scores the hits based on how much damage an unarmored person would take from the hit. It's not choreographed, it's not staged, the idea is just to get the world's greatest weapon masters and watch them beat the snot out of each other. But the snot would stay in the helmet so you wouldn't see it because snot is gross. The campaign is to help improve the armor, make it even lighter, and to help launch the first live competitions in 2016. These guys really know their audience because the rewards for backers are almost all weapons. Trainer weapons so you don't impale yourself or whatever, but still, pure, concentrated awesome. You can check out the campaign at the link down below. So looters, what kind of shirt do you want to make for the X-Files t-shirt design challenge? And do you think Unified Weapons Masters will become a real, popular mainstream sport someday soon? Let us know in the comments down below for your chance to win three months of loot. Oh, and click subscribe so Pete has something to look forward to when he comes back on Wednesday. Have a great weekend! What's the word? Badong? Badoodle? Badoof? <laughs>